Welcome to today's Town Hall 13 5 versus 5 war. In these styles of videos, we have a one attack format, and you will see all attacks in this video. We have Crunch Time versus only the Brave, all part of the Pinnacle Cup. Crunch Time fresh out of their 12 12 victory over King Jeffrey yesterday and if you do enjoy this style of video I have a playlist in the description 5 versus 5 wars be sure to check it out but let's dive into the first attack we have Bushido of only the brave attacking first and we have one of the most popular strategies within the game right now the hog rider and minor hybrid attack the town hall is the central focus here of this kill squad and we've already got a funnel created to the left hand side so that the queen can come straight in now he's waiting for the deployment of the healers here that's because the king is taking the primary damage and he he would draw the healers onto him but the difficulty here is the healers go to the barbarian and the queen walks around the outside of the base wow she realizes that the town hall is that focus turns on the inside and i think the defending clan castle did only the brave a favor there scary moment in the opening part of this war but all is well the queen will go to that town hall i love the use of this one balloon just to come in and try to snipe the archer tower whilst it is distracted unfortunately a tesla pops and does create a little bit more damage but a hog rider will finish that off the queen gets the town hall and we've got pathing already for the hogs and miners assumably coming in from the 10 11 o'clock section the siege barracks will just be used over to one o'clock so the queen continues to walk down over interesting that we haven't seen deployment of the other troops thus far the jump spell will allow the queen in now maybe maybe bushido is just waiting here is he going to loop back over and deploy the hogs and miners from over at four o'clock that looks like it could be the idea here single inferno onto the queen oh and she walks out of its radius which is interesting because there was no freeze spell the ability would have to be used so the royal champion is used in this area queen hasn't taken the jump so he's adapting as best as possible here this is not what bushido needed but in come the hogs and miners so assumably he did want to come in from this side that is an interesting approach i thought he might have came down and tried to loop alongside the queen because basically the queen isn't doing much at this point grand warden's ability is used to try and help the hog riders through but it's all going to be about percentage there's a lot of damage left the scatter shot is tearing this place to the ground and with one heal spell i don't think there's going to be enough to get through the multi and the two wizards towers but who knows Bushido will push with all of his might and try and take down this base time wise it is going to be an issue but 80% for a two star is not too bad to start the war so we now have crunch time with the ability to pounce get a three star and take an early lead and azuka is the man for the job with a battle blimp coming straight into the town hall with the yetis that will go down and a good thing here is he's able to take down the town hall which gives him the two star security creates pathing but also lures the clan castle troops so he can just take that out up to the top area and drive the queen down from that queen walk the pathing for the queen walk is created so a very good start here for azuka nothing that could really go wrong with that plan to be honest with you so he starts with a very comfortable start to the attack not a lot that can go wrong everything going right at the moment it all depends on this queen walk where will she get caught up will she drive into the middle of the base where he wants her to go that one balloon not only check for black bombs but takes out the cannon like a boss and allows the queen straight into the center we've got an interesting funnel getting created down to the bottom with the king and we could assume that as the queen comes in the hogs and miners would come in from the 10 o'clock section actually we just have miners for this one which is interesting and that is probably due to the fact that the queen is in the center of the base by herself 
We already have one scatter shot about to go down here. That's always a key defense that you want to take. And the King's ability helps to create that pathing. And now come the miners from that side. They have direct access into the base. Could have deployed them a little bit quicker because the King is going to go down and redirect the scatter shot here. But I think he's pretty good at this point. The Queen gets into the center of the base. Remember the miners. The key thing about them is they can take out the Queen. So the Eagle artillery rains its damage but the grand warden's ability is used as the miners get through the scatter shot and the queen perfect timing of that ability now the healers are attracted to that multi inferno the royal champion is trying to step up and as long as the single goes down here quickly to protect this queen it's looking good for azuka 40 seconds remain in this one but with miners spreading around the base the queen going up to the top to clean up it's looking almost like a certain three star here the miners get the bottom area and what am i talking about almost a certain this is nailed on crunch time getting the opening three star and firing themselves into the lead a 13 to 12 prediction from myself is on the cards for this one crunch time getting that one done in style so only the brave already a three star attack down they have the miners and the hog riders ready to go here and again it is one of the strongest attacks in the game right now that's why we have seen it opening up this war but only the braves need to try and get this three star back otherwise they could slip behind before the war has even begun the battle blimp can take down the single target inferno i really like the use of them balloons just to try and get a little bit more value the scatter shot has one percent health and the yetis will not go there they go to the grand warden statue as well which also has one percent health now sometimes you've got to have a bit of luck and you've got to say only the brave certainly unlucky with this one Aniket will not be happy with that start granted takes down the single gets that pathing but if the scatter shot had have gone down imagine what extra value that would have created now the queen can walk straight into the town hall one shot will take down the grand warden statue but ultimately one or two swipes from the scatter shot when the miners come in from that two o'clock side is going to be dangerous alongside the wizard towers and the bomb tower now fortunately the queen is actually tanking the scatter shot in this area and that one balloon was so nice to go over the town hall check for them black bombs and here we have the king creating the funnel right over that is a deep area to create the funnel now normally the miners can funnel for themselves but i am worried that they get too drawn to the outside here Although, as long as the... Oh, the queen goes down! I was going to say, as long as the queen gets one shot on the scatter shot, they are all good. But she goes down, and the hog riders go around it. One hit from one miner is enough to take it down, though. And that could rescue the attack. But with no queen, certainly, it adds an expo, a wizard tower, a lot more damage to this. You've got to say that it was a little bit, unfortunately, initially, not to get that down. But the hogs are miners continue to drive down this area they're splitting up all over the place and what type of percentage can they achieve here they've got to keep the percentage high because although they are a three star behind it is only one three star at the moment and if they get a three star themselves they could skyrocket into the lead if their percentage is maintained now this is still looking pretty good but i worry about the single locking onto the royal champion there it is royal champion will go down the ability is used early to try and help through this area do not tell me that only the brave are still going to get this done we've got troops all around the base miners taking down the final few defenses it's going to be super super close it might might be a time fail unfortunately but the balloon might be the savior as well which way will it go five seconds left the time is ticking and it's more than likely not happening for them 97 percent so they keep the percentage high and here we go it is another hog rider and minor attack that is definitely the meta of this war sham one wanting to get the three star for crunch time of course 
Of course he does. Who doesn't want to get a three star? I love the use of the balloons to take out that archer tower and that allows the baby dragon to get so much more value in terms of funneling. Now we do have a jump spell which will be used for the queen to get straight into the multi, we'll get access to the eagle and then we have straight pathing onto the town hall. If you are not taking the town hall as part of your initial push, you've got to take it early with hogs and miners. So most certainly hogs and miners coming in from that three o'clock section. Love the king down the outside of the base there as well always use the king for funneling the outside and that's exactly why we see giant bombs to wipe out the barbarians because you've got no idea how much under rage they will help out so the queen moving into this area will get the ego where a multi inferno down she will get the cc and not that the miners have to worry about the queen but certainly having that archer queen down helps in terms of damage interesting that we have a ground expo next to that town hall as well just in increasing the damage and the two scatter shot are not necessarily the easiest to path to although we do have one freeze spell and I would assume that the perfect place for this freeze spell is to freeze two scatter shots what better value could you get there goes the queen's ability nice and early to take down the enemy queen tanks one scatter shot and we've already got the siege barracks creating the funnel on the right hand side so that hogs and miners drive into that town hall we will probably see the grand warden's ability early as we did that will protect them through the gigabomb but also moving to that first scatter shot the free spell surely going to come down onto the scatter shots no it is not first one goes down along with the single there goes the second one down in a second and that is with that freeze spell to help out this looks very convincing for crunch time a multi inferno on the back end of the base is not going to be able to deal with all of these troops miners get there but a spring trap if the savior queen continuing to drive around but it looks ever so convincing with the royal champion's ability i would have loved to have seen it fly right up to the tesla if only he had have seen that and saved onto it but not to worry a three star it is from crunch time the perfect war on the cards for them 12 to 11 already and this is looking very good for them moving to the second half of the war Princess Zen of only the brave decides to mix it up the hog minor hybrid not quite working for them obviously crunch time using that to their advantage but they are two stars up only the brave have got to do something and the yetis are the answer for this attack now don't write anything off yet guys because this is the polar opposite of what happened yesterday crunch time went behind by two three stars and in the end they took it they managed to get two three stars at the end of the war to win the 12 12 percentage tie so anything can happen and a good start here from princess zen the grand warden walk aims to take down the multi inferno but he's not heading in that direction he's slowly moving around and waiting as long as possible before deploying the yetis but in they come you do not want to time fail on this attack either the healer getting in dangerous range of the multi there they go right into that area grand warden's ability will help them a little bit and also helps to absorb a sam as well but the multis still onto the healers this could be dangerous if he does not take down the multi quickly everything going around the town hall Yetis and bowlers take that, so they sw sideswipe it. Miss the Giga Inferno, but the multi is missed. The healers still in range, and a couple of them power forward to get through. How vital will that be in this war? Because if healers go down, you can bet your bottom dollar that the attack will be a fail, but keeping them healers up could be the savior here. The queen uses the ability to get through the scatter shot, and it's looking pretty good with the Grand Warden's ability of freeze spell and not a lot left in the middle of this base if the queen could have stayed alive it would have made a huge difference royal champion try 
tries to get through the Inferno Towers, or the Tesla, should I say, and surely enough, she does. The interesting part here is will they have enough to get through? The Royal Champion soldiers on ahead, takes down a cannon, but unfortunately will then fall to her death. 90% it is, waiting patiently on the loons. Once the Archer Tower is distracted, surely the loon will be dropped there, or maybe onto the cannon. Yetis take down that area, 34 seconds, it's looking ever so promising for only the brave, and they need this to get back in the war. It's all a case of whether they can get into these buildings, and that's where the balloon will come in. The multi will wipe it out. I would have thought that balloon would have came in before now, but waiting for the multi, have they waited too long here? With 10 seconds, it's not looking good. We need the Yeti mites to jump out and go for the buildings. The wizard tower drops. It is a 99. Another time fail for only the brave. Heartbreaking stuff. Heartbreak for only the brave. However, crunch time have to put that aside and they need to pounce. They need to keep doing what they are doing. And Kevin is the man for the job. Can he get the three star? And this will almost solidify the victory. It could have been so much different if the two time fails had have came in. But that's how the cookie crumbles. Kevin driving the queen into the town hall. I have seen similar base designs to this. Maybe Kevin has. Maybe this is where he will take advantage. The queen will go over to the town hall and the baby dragon gets very good value at the top because this is where it is designed to draw the queen around and the wall compartments are designed to mess with wall breaker pathing. Drives the queen in though, perfect funneling to get her to the town hall. She will take a lot of damage here from the scatter shot from the town hall. What is the queen doing? Redirects to a wall to get the royal champion. How pivotal is that? Because she moves in range of the multi-inferno. The ability goes off and this is not looking good for Kevin. He's got a lot of things he can adapt. Granted, even the stone slammer could come into that town hall if needed, but the queen goes down. She is frozen from the ice golem and that is definitely not how Kevin, foreseen this attack going, decides to forget about the king for funneling and drives him to the town hall instead. I've got to admit, I think that is the best adaption that Kevin could have done given the situation. It does mean that miners are a little bit more tricky now. Some of them go over to the king. Now for percentage, that is probably a good thing because it's almost guaranteed that without the queen, this will not be a three star. But how much percentage can Kevin get? As the hogs and miners come forward, the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome is used very early on just to ensure sure that they have maximum amount of troops within that radius. They power through this area under rage and heal and Kevin shreds apart this base. Hog Riders and Miners still in combination. Look at how deadly this would have been if that queen was alive with another heal spell in the bag. Decides to use it and I think he's only going to struggle towards that back end multi inferno. He's got more than enough hogs and right um, hog riders and miners to deal with this bottom area so a close one given that the queen went down early on now you have to be able to adapt and that is one thing that kevin did very well in this situation did not panic managed to get the king into that town hall and a 70 plus percent two star keeps that percentage high for crunch time especially given that first attack by only the brave but it gives them a lifeline now only the brave they are still in this. Despite being behind by two three stars, they are ahead on percentage given the fact that they have a 99 and a 97. So if they were to get two three stars in these final two attacks, then they could leapfrog crunch time and still take the victory. This is almost exactly what happened in crunch time's first war, but they were the ones to get the two three stars and leapfrog on percentage at the end. Is that going to happen to them? Them, or do they get one more three star and just solidify this you will have to wait and find out but it's not a good start here for only the brave as the queen was meant to go into the eagle and she already decides to go the other way now because the multi
Salty Inferno was locked onto the Queen and the Healers. The Wallbreakers get through, but the Queen has too many buildings on the outside, and with nothing to adapt to take them down, she just wants to walk. Healers go, and from what looked like a very promising start, the Queen walks, and this is looking like a disaster to start off. The King has to be used at that side, but maybe... He should have been used to the 8, 9 o'clock section to drive the Queen into that area. A very interesting use of the Siege Barracks to try and drive Hog Riders to this left hand side. If Miners and Hogs can get the Town Hall in this central area down, Hog Riders from within the Siege Barracks would go straight to the Eagle and the other Multi Inferno. So whilst it is not an ideal scenario, this could still work out. Miners and Hogs though have to get through this central area Area under freeze from the town hall they get battered by one scatter shot then the next heal spells coming in and there finally it gets frozen the royal champion doing a good job the hog riders from that siege barracks do get the eagle artillery but it's not enough power to get to the multi inferno miners doing what they can through the center of the base but they're going down fast once you lose the momentum they cannot get it done guys and it it looks like it's not even going to be an 80% given that we have 50 seconds more than likely it will be however definitely not happy with this one because it leaves it in the hands of crunch time only the brave cannot win this war out right now they need crunch time to slip up if crunch time lose a two star they only get a one star then only the brave still have a chance however it's not looking good for them at this stage. The two star secured for this attack. Highs of mid 80s for it. So certainly maintaining that percentage that they have, but training two stars, it now means that they have to rely on a mistake from crunch time. A good adaption given that the queen walked to try and take out that left hand side, keep the miners through, but it's not enough. 87% two star. This is crunch time's opportunity guys in order to solidify the victory ultimately at this point they would have to get a one star to allow only the brave back into this however one stars happen crunch time need to hold it together get the two stars but if they get a three star then it's virtually a win after this attack and skyfall clearly thinking that the miners would be a good option here now for these ring bases what you can often do is drive the queen all of the way around the base and more than likely that is what he's going to try and do lures the clan castle from one side which is something that sometimes we don't see a lot of players doing anymore is actually luring clan castle troops but lures it from one side drags it to the other and the queen will just bust in here and walk around the outside then you will have your siege barracks and the king from the other side to create the funnel and drive your miners into the center a common style of base and that is normally the plan we will see is skyfall going to stick to it let's find out the queen doing a nice job moving up here and the wall breakers get her straight in the baby dragon on the outside just helps to clear the outside buildings and ensure the queen steps into the base now she can actually reach a lot of these internal buildings buildings here as well which will help out massively we will see the siege barracks and king more than likely i thought from down at seven o'clock but no reinforcing from this other side is it the bowlers in siege barracks i guess we need to find out queen continues to walk around now with only one minute and 20 left skyfall has got to start getting a move on here because time is ticking down a lot the Stone Slammer used at 3 o'clock. An interesting approach here, but basically he's trying to take out the entire front of this town hall and then delay deployment of miners to come straight into this central area. But it just takes a long time with only a minute left and 50%. Yes, the two star will be secured, but surely the three is off the cards. Look at the Royal Champion's ability go, taking down defenses like none other. 45 five seconds 
and no miners deployed. Surely we will see them come to the town hall. One test miner and here come the rest. What kind of manic 30 seconds do we have on our hands? The Grand Warden comes in but incredibly slow and the ability was wanted to be used in that area. The miners go down. The Grand Warden could not get to that area but 20 miners onto the town hall was enough to weaken it and allow the Grand Warden to take charge. What a scary moment for crunch time. They needed a save two star and the Grand Warden just chilling at the back very nearly cost them it. Only the Brave with the opportunity to keep themselves in. Now, if Mika can get a three star and then crunch time mess up, they could still get this. So they will be giving it what they've got. Irrespective, they will want to put the best stars on the board. And we see the battle blimp with the Yetis. A nice approach to take out the town hall. The air defense will go down here as well. So very nice. It carves an area of the base to create pathing. And then the queen can walk, assumably, down this left hand side, allowing hog riders and miners in from one o'clock. We can see it now, guys. Guys, and that's where the king is going to be used. No healers on this one, just going for a straight up Sui minor attack. So, Queen does go down. King walks the wrong way here, which is unfortunate. He wanted the king to come down this bottom area, but unfortunately, the king walks. Now, I mean. <sighs> The king can be a relatively easy troop to funnel, so you've got to say that is a mistake on the player's part, and he's pretty much wasted at this point. Hogs and miners come through. It might redirect the king once they take down enough buildings, but is it going to be enough to keep the hogs and miners where he wants in this base? Because a couple of them have already gone. Ice golems will slow down the hog riders over to this area when the miners take them out, but the miners are avoiding them for the most part. This is not going to be good because they will be in range of the scatter shot when they finally go down. Hog Riders under rage, doing what they can, but the miners are well behind and this is not looking good. The two stars is almost certainly secured but when they need a three star, it's not going to happen for them. And this will solidify Crunch Time's victory. The heal spell used on the Grand Warden and the few remaining miners to push up that percentage. The two star definitely... Oh man, I mean, what do you even say to that, guys? Just about gets it. But it's not what only the Brave needed. And Crunch Time, well, we knew they pretty much had the victory. But I believe they would need, what, a disconnect right now? So definitely not looking good for only the Brave. And yes, you've got to say that the pressure might have got to Mika in this one. The King not going where we wanted and certainly not what was needed in terms of spell deployment either. The Ice Golems didn't help because whenever the Miners get stuck on the Ice Golems, remember the Hog Riders, they do not care. The Hog Riders charge forward and that's where it can be good from a defending point of view because if you can split up the Hogs and the Miners, then it doesn't bode well for heal spells. However, with three minutes left, crunch time, they are behind on percentage, so they only need a star. And pretty much a 50% would get them up on percentage, I believe. They were behind by eight or nine percent there, I think, when I quickly had a look. Anyways, guys, fail time. He got the three stars yesterday at the final moments of the war when it really mattered. The Yetis are aimed for the Eagle Artillery on this one, and they get it. Whilst the Dragon comes out, the Eagle Artillery falls, and so does the Expo. That is very good value, not to mention the pulling of the Clan Castle troops, which means the Queen can easily take care of them, and this is where different to that last attack the ice golem now will not slow down the miners because it's already gone now i really like the use of this wizard there's no defenses in the area so the wizard can easily get to work taking these buildings and drive the queen straight up to this town hall area you can see the plan now the jump spell allows the queen into this area baby dragon sets up that funnel and whilst the archer tower takes down the loon 
it's not going to be enough once the jump spell comes in the queen will jump into this compartment just delaying on the jump spell i'm surprised it hasn't been used but there it is just waiting patiently before using it queen gets access to the multi gets access to the scatter shot and the town hall so amazing value here and we will more than likely see the king and the um, royal champion up at the two o'clock section with miners coming through from the three o'clock once the town hall goes down continues to sneak in balloons here trying to absorb any black bombs but it's not enough at the moment queen locks her sights onto the town hall and there she goes straight onto it healers out of range looking very good now my prediction was wrong in terms of deployment they actually come from the opposite side but irrespective that pathing is created so the king able to drive down the left hand side and then the royal champion has the ability to side swipe the defenses from the top single inferno onto the queen though is not looking good she will go down here in a second and the miners will not be able to make use of the healers since they have to go all of the way across the base they do royal champion in this area could still happen here for fail time as we've still got the ability and we've still got a heal spell looks good for them moving to the final part of this attack heal will be used over the tesla farm there it is 34 seconds is it enough for crunch time to finish on a three star the ability takes down the tesla farm and it looks better and better every single second so many miners left and crunch time finish in style they only needed a star but a three star is what they wanted they had their eyes on it and they have got the second victory in the pinnacle cup they won against king jeffrey yesterday 12 12 now they take 13 to 12 100 three star and there is your war results crunch time with the victory 90 percent over 85 percent 13 to 10 it is gg to both clans a brilliant and exciting clash of clans war and thank you to you guys for joining me